congratulations if you are here watching this video on 29th of July 2025 because this means that you are here to commemorate lively to the 10th anniversary of Windows 10. One exact decade ago Windows 10 was released and today I'll be going into a tour in Windows 10 version 1507 to show how it was like on its launch. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. I've installed this version properly on my computer by doing a triple boot with Windows 7, 8.1 and 10 and if you want a separate video on that, let me know. After booting, we are welcomed with this real photo of a window and I'm not kidding, this is a real photo, they should have kept this wallpaper all along, it's just amazing. By the way, I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers before New Year, so if you can help me out, that'd be great. With this Windows edition, Microsoft improved basically everything that was wrong with Windows 8. They made a lot of things better for people, but sometimes some things were still rough. Um, I, I mean, Microsoft Edge. Like, I really like the design of the earlier versions of Edge, but yeah, let's say that they came a really long way. Apart from new apps and features, Microsoft made arguably my favorite start menu of all times. Its classic and modern look with colored live tiles is stunning. This start menu is so much better than Windows 11's and Windows 8's. It's like a middle ground of both of them. The thing is that you can choose whether to have it full screen or like a pop-up or only as a list. This flexibility is what I seek in software. What's amazing and also such a pity that it doesn't exist anymore are these live tiles. You can read mails, news and messages, see future events, check the weather without opening the apps themselves. So they are basically like widgets on phones, but I still like the continuity of its design much more on Windows. Just for the sake of nostalgia, I'll just change the date and time until we check the web. Imagine it was August of 2015 and you updated your Windows 7 or 8 device to this one right here. It had low system requirements and it was the best of both roles in terms of Windows 8 and 7. If you want to see how these OS's compare in terms of speed, click on the pop-up banner on the top right hand corner of the screen after this video has finished. Since Windows Vista, you could search apps and files, but this time they added a dedicated box for it alongside this circular icon here, the infamous Cortana. Yeah, this was Microsoft's take on Siri, but we know how Microsoft revenges end up. Mm, yes, I mean this. Cortana was hated by millions, and it wasn't refined nor capable of basically doing anything. But hey, it did tell some nice jokes or show the weather um, occasionally, I guess. What was very good, however, is the tablet mode. Instead of merging tablets with PCs and dramatically failing, um, how they did in Windows 8, they now separated them with a toggle. Enabling this mode activates full screen start menu and made apps more intuitive to touch and navigate through by making the icons larger. This new task view was much better than Windows 8 sidebar, compatible with only major apps and the support for more than two finger gestures were also a life changer for me. Now let's see how the internet was like. Well, it has a nice greeting screen, but today, as expected, it doesn't work nearly at all. So back in the day, Edge received criticism as it was slower than Chrome, and Microsoft's reputation of making bad browsers continued, but I disagree. Edge today is much better than Chrome. However, some DNA of Windows 8 is still here, like these duplicate apps. Settings and control panel for example, but honestly I couldn't have cared less as they are just really rarely used apps and the control panel is just buried down in some folder in the start menu list. Not a deal breaker for me. To get the full experience, I went to Bing's web page and added these two letters, H and P. We have a slightly older version of it. So YouTube doesn't work, so you need Google Chrome. But Chrome recognizes that this is Windows 10 regardless its build number. So we can actually run the latest edition of Google Chrome. And yes, you can watch YouTube on Windows 10. 1507. It isn't a surprise that Microsoft Store or anything to do with cloud syncing and Hotmail works, like mail and calendar, but sadly not even the weather app works which I find quite weird. What I love so much about Windows 10, the frosted glass and the transparency effects. I mean, these look so neat, so much that I just stare at these effects when I'm bored in chemistry class. Yeah, other kids play games or watch TikTok and I stare at the Windows transparency effects, yeah. 
Alongside these effects, Windows 10 also brought this Ruby UI that you could previously find on Microsoft Office products, and I have to admit that this is just much better than the Windows 11's UI that I really find so confusing with only icons and no text. And this was Windows 10 10 years later. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.